Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Performance Theater. We're here with Richard Fortas. Great to see you again, my friend. Nice to see you as well. We appreciate you coming uh, back to join us here. I'm, I'm glad to be back. Yeah, you're here with Don't Feed the Animals. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Uh, that uh, you'll have to ask Phil Lex because that is completely on him. Yeah. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> that is solely a Phil Lex name. Right, yeah. right. So if I understand the story, you guys did a, you performed at a party at Winter Nam. At Nam, yeah. And decided you might do a, a few more kind of fun things uh, yeah. when everybody's available. And here yeah. you are at Sweetwater. Yeah, this all came together. And uh, so here we are back. And, uh, right. Yeah, it should be fun. So you guys were doing a recording workshop in the studio, uh -huh. and tonight you're doing a live show here right. in the performance theater. Tell us about how you approach the two things differently from a gear standpoint. I, usually it's very different for me, but in this circumstance, um, it's pretty similar. It's pretty much the same thing, because I'm using the same rig. Um, you know, we, we went through a bunch of different things. For We did, tracked one song yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, it was an idea that Phil had, and he sent it to everybody. It was just like a, a verse and a chorus idea. And then we wrote the rest of the song, fleshed it out yesterday in the studio, and recorded it. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably play it tonight. Right. And so I settled on, I brought, had a few different amps, and settled on, actually it is a little bit different now that I think about it. Yeah. 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 But no, as far as the approach, it was, it was a very live session. Mm -hmm. So we all played together, we all tracked, we got a take that we liked, and that was it. All right, nice. Yeah. That's fun to do it that way, right? But when, you, when you're playing with Phil and Brian Tishy and Doug Wimbish, I mean, it's sort of hard to, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's going to sound good. It can sound right. good. Yeah, Four yeah. you guys in a room is always going to sound good. No, no real danger there. Uh, man, I just turn my volume down a little. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I heard I heard some of the sound tech. You guys sound awesome, man. Yeah, it should be it fun. Here. Yeah. So you're using Supro amps and pedals. Let's start with the pedal board down here. It's got some uh, some cool Supro pedals on here. Yeah, I'm really into uh, these. Uh, the new analog Supro pedals are very cool. The delay is like the greatest sounding analog delay I've heard. It's right. Just so rich and full sounding. Really an impressive pedal. But uh, yeah, it's funny because Dave originally sent it to me our I read about it, and I thought, I don't need another delay pedal, you know. Right, right. Doesn't do anything crazy, or, but if you want just a pure, great sounding delay, simple, analog, it sounds beautiful. Nice. Very lush, very warm. Uh, the Octavia pedal that um, Pigtronics, is octave, right? Right. Pigtronics, uh, just an octave fuzz that is very cool sounding. And then just a drive and a boost. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Do you use the drive great. and the boost together or do you switch those on separately? I use the Octava with the, with the boost. Okay. Just to hit that a little harder? Yeah. Yeah, just to make it jump a bit more. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a wall pedal and a tuner. And that's right. it. And this controls the level of the delay. Okay. And that's just the delays through the loop. Okay, of got the it. Amp. Well, let's talk about the amps. So you've got Supro amps and you've got Gretsch guitars. Yeah. So you're running a two amp setup here. You got the big head, and then you got the smaller one here at the uh, with the ribbon microphone on it. What's right, happening here? Right. Well, this one we can't talk about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a uh, signature amp that I've been working on with Supro. I've been using it live and um, very excited about wow, it. Wow! Can't wait. To, can't wait. But it's yeah. all top secret. Okay. <laughs> so you didn't see this in the video. Nobody but, actually uh, saw this amplifier. Yeah, but that hopefully this this next year that'll be out. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. And then this little thing is a monster of an amp. It's one knob. Right. Uh, I think Phil's using one too. We actually have a very similar approach to our I, live. I use that head mm -hmm. with uh, a Black Magic combo. Right. So I like having the combination of a big 100 watt EL34 amp mm -hmm. in conjunction with a smaller combo for the top end and getting that mid-range that focus that you know having an open back and this is even better than the Black Magic because it's uh, an eight inch speaker uh -huh. and it's incredible sounding. So it does this this very focused mid-range thing that you can't get with a big amp so that way they can blend it out front right and it works fantastically nice. i'm so excited about it. 
one knob. Nice. This is you just crank it up and it's like one setting and Right, you gotta love there that. There you go. You gotta love that. It just sounds incredible. Right, nice. So are you doing a splitter then? So you're feeding both amps simultaneously or do you, do you switch between yeah, them? Yeah, and that's what I do live as well. I just hit both amps, both single channel amps, and I hit mm -hmm. them all night. And then I just, my clean sound, I just roll my volume down. Right, nice. Um, which brings us to uh, the Gretsch guitar. The Gretsch guitar. And that's yeah. a very important part of Gretsch for me is constantly being able to work the volume knob, dropping the guitar, the beautiful thing about Gretsch is that when you drop the, like old Gibsons from the 50s or older guitars, generally when you drop the volume, it would get all sparkly and pretty. A lot of modern guitars, the way they're wired, they don't do that. Right. Gretsch does, and uh, I'm a, and I'm a big fan of Gretsch. I use them live with guns. I use them in the studio. I've got a big collection of vintage Gretsches and. Right, nice. Yeah. Nice. But I have a signature model coming out with Gretsch too, which oh. I'm super excited about, but I can't talk about that either. <laughs> so you didn't, we didn't say anything about that. I didn't bring one. I don't have a, I don't have a prototype yet, but right. I'm really, really excited about that. Right. It's like a dream come true to have a That's signature so cool. model with Gretsch. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. So are these uh, high output pickups then, or do you look for a lower output from the pickup? Or? This is a, oh. some sort of a, me actually these powered, I think they're power jets, it's a Jet um, Player's Edition, mm -hmm. and I just started playing these. I've been using them in the studio, I haven't been using them a lot live, just because I like a lower output pickup, just the standard Filtertron, when I'm playing with GNR, mm -hmm. just to balance Slash's tone. And um, But these pickups are a little bit higher output. Okay. And it for this thing, it's they're perfect. Right. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I heard uh, heard you guys during the sound check. Man, it is a huge tone. Yeah. Yeah. They're guitar. they're these guitars sound great. Yeah, absolutely. Really cool. Right, really so cool. cool. Yeah. But, that's yeah. pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty yeah. pretty simple. It's all it takes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Awesome, Richard. Thanks so much for taking time Man, to uh, thank give you. us the tour and check out all the uh, the gear. And nobody saw that amp. Don't worry. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> and nobody heard about the signature guitar. Okay. So, good. Good. So worry about we'll that keep either. that quiet. <laughs> Great to see you. Man. Great to see you. Come it's always good soon. to talk to you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And thank you for joining me here in the Sweetwater Performance Theater. I'm Mitch Gallagher.